Welcome back to Nursing with Harmony and thanks for tuning in. Today we are gonna make guacamole. This is one of my kids' favorites too. During the summer, we're going on a trip tomorrow and this is a food that I love to bring. It's really healthy, it travels well. I like to make it before I go. Now when you make guacamole, when I buy an avocado, because buying an avocado, an avocado can either make or break your gua guacamole. So I usually pick them when they're a little bit hard. I typically don't like to buy them from the store soft because if they're already at the store soft, then they've usually got a lot of bruises on them. So I like them hard and I usually set them in my pantry next to my bananas for a day or two until they get soft. And once they get soft, then I use them. And how I tell if they're ripe is I will actually squeeze the top and the bottom just a tiny bit and if they give just a little bit, that usually means they're pretty ripe. Now, when I get my avocados ready to slice, I pull that pit out of the middle and then I take my knife and I just cut them all the way around and just slice them open just like that. Now, when I peel them, there's a couple different ways you can peel them, but I usually take my spoon from one of the tops and I just push it all the way around and try to get it as big as possible through there if that's the way I want to do it. If I want to do it whole and these ones are really good. There's no bruising or anything inside of them. And same, I don't compost these peels. If you really want to compost them, you really want to chop them up. Another way that I'll chop up my avocados is I'll actually cut them inside first. And then, and I'm pushing just down to where I can feel the peel so that it's like almost like a checkerboard inside. And that way they come out in little chunks. And depending on the texture you like your guacamole, this is actually a really good way just to, all you do is have to mix it just a little bit and it will be a great consistency. Okay, now this last avocado, my son has been begging me to eat these and I told him he couldn't. So I'm gonna save that one for him for after school when he gets home. Now, this is really simple. The things that I put in here are a little bit of olive oil and I have some lime olive oil. It's actually, it's a Redstone brand. They have a website. We actually have a local store here, but this is really awesome olive oil and they have all different kinds of flavors infused in them. They're super healthy. They make great salad dressings too. So we're just gonna put a little bit of olive oil in there. We're gonna put, we're gonna put garlic. You can add any type of garlic that you want. I like powdered garlic for my guacamole just because it's faster and easier. So we're just gonna put some, we're just gonna put some garlic. I'm just gonna put a nice little covering on the top there. You can see there's just a little bit in there. I'm gonna add just a pinch of salt. You can always add in more salt. Can't take it out if you put too much and then just a little pinch of pepper. I am still gonna put some fresh lime in there. This is my lime yesterday left over from when I made my salsa. We're gonna give this just a little bit of a squeeze on here, just to put a little bit of fresh lime juice on it. And then the key ingredients for mine to make it easier is my salsa that I used, that I made yesterday. I'm actually just gonna use that same fresh salsa and put that in my guacamole. You can use bottled salsa, fresh salsa, whatever you want if you like tomatoes and onions. Or you can just chop up some tomatoes and onions and put them in here, either one. This is just, it just makes it easier and faster to do it like this. So I'm just gonna add maybe about a fourth of a cup in there. The other thing I add to like, I like to add just a little bit of extra. This is some cilantro that I have. And we're just gonna break off the top of this. And when you, when you chop up cilantro, if you roll it up like this, kind of in a long, a long tube, I guess, and then you take it from the end and then roll it up like this so it's almost, almost in a little ball. And take it and then chop it really fine. It goes a lot faster. And then I rough chop through the other side one more time. I love fresh cilantro, so I put, anytime I can use fresh cilantro, I do. So we're just gonna dump that right on top there. 
And this also, this is just a tiny bit of jalapeno leftover that I had cut up from my, from my salsa. I'm gonna use probably another teaspoon, but I'm gonna chop it up really fine. Jalapeno gives stuff such good flavor. And I'm, kids are eating my salsa and they don't like hot stuff. And so I don't, my, I don't want one of my kids to get a big chunk of jalapeno. So we're just gonna rough chop through that one more time just to add just a little bit. I'm gonna rinse my hands off. And then to mix up my, to mix up my salsa, I usually at first I'll use a hand potato masher because I don't like my guacamole completely chunk free. I actually like the chunks in it and so do my kids like the chunks in it too. So we're just gonna kinda rough mash through this and if your avocados are ripe, this should be super easy. When you're really having to push through it, your avocados are too hard and your guacamole is not gonna be near as good. And what I have cooking behind me here is my, is my bone broth. So you guys will have to watch my other video of my bone broth. It smells so good. It makes my whole house smell like I've been slaving away in my kitchen all day. This is looking good. Just because I'm making such a large batch, takes me a few extra times. Sometimes I'll make guacamole with just one avocado because guacamole, you can leave it in the fridge, you can use it the next day, but it's actually best eaten within the first couple hours or that day. And some tips to make it so it doesn't brown, and I'll show you at the end too, because this is how I let it set in my fridge, is you actually take a piece of saran wrap and you put it right on top, but you actually punch it right on the top, just set it on there so there's no air between the saran wrap and your avocados. Another thing too is if you have to make it the night before, you can, you take it and push your guacamole all the way down and I'll usually tap the bowl a little bit to get any of the air bubbles out, kind of wiggle it. And then I'll put just a little layer of cold water on top of it and then before I use it the next day, I'll dump that water off. But it keeps the guacamole so fresh, it just blocks any of the air out. when. The avocados sit and they get air on them, that's when they turn brown. And the brown, it doesn't hurt your guacamole, but it just doesn't, it just doesn't look very pretty. And my kids won't eat it when it has little brown, little brown flecks on it either. So they pick it out and throw it away. Or they think the whole batch is bad, which isn't true. You can, if you do have leftovers and your top layer does turn slightly brown, just scoop off that top and throw that away and then just eat the rest of your guacamole. Okay, so we're gonna try this and see if it's good or not. That is really yummy. Okay, so let me show you what I do when I put it in the fridge. I'm gonna take just a piece of this plastic wrap and I will take it and I'm just gonna push it right onto that guacamole so there's no so there's no air bubbles in it. And then that keeps it from turning brown and it can sit in there and about a half an hour it's gonna taste a little bit better even than it is right now. There you go, it's all done. Go out, buy some avocados, make some salsa and some guacamole. You will be everyone's best friend at your next party. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and have a wonderful day.